Hey, what is going on guys? So you are using the video editor called Filmora version 9, Filmora 9. I'm going to show you guys how to crop, pan and zoom, and also stay in the small zoom part for a little while, okay? So first thing is we need to import a video, a test video that I just made here. So let me click on that. Here it is right here. I'll double click on that. And then from here, let me drag and drop this onto the timeline. I like to drag it onto the bigger one here so I can uh, kind of see the audio as well. And I will match to media. That's perfectly fine. And here's the clip that I just made here. And let, let me go ahead and cut out some of it. All right, let me just stop it here. Let me go ahead and cut out this beginning part, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on split right here, the scissors. I'll tap on that, and then I'll right-click this first clip here, and I'll do a ripple delete. Basically, it'll ripple back to the beginning of the timeline. Okay, so from here, let me just press on play. Okay, so right, right from here when I'm drinking the Pepsi, I want to go ahead and crop in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and split it right here with the scissors icon. Cut that right there. And then let me play it again to, we'll, to where I want the crop to stop. Okay, so. Okay, right there. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and click the scissors again. So now I had uh, that first clip. Now I just cut it up into three clips. There's one clip, two clip three clip now this middle clip here the second clip is where I want to do the crop so I'll go ahead and tap it make sure it's highlighted and then I'm gonna clip on the cropping icon right here tap on that and then from here we have several things that we can do okay we have one that says crop and another that says pan and zoom we'll just do the crop really quickly okay so here's the crop here and let's just say uh, you know I mean you can resize this you can move this anywhere you want and let's just say I want it like right up to my face like that I'll click on uh, play to see like a preview. Okay, you saw that. Let me click on OK and let me start from where the uh, frame is uh, all the way out and then it crops in. So I'm going to go ahead and press on play here and you're going to watch it. Now it's going to go in and now it's getting ready to go back out. Okay, so that's a simple crop here. Now let's go ahead and go back into this. So make sure it's highlighted. Click on the uh, crop icon again and let's do a pan and zoom. Okay, so let me click on a pan and zoom here and you know what let me just click on reset here okay so here's pan and zoom here so basically you can see like this outer uh, rectangle here and then you can see this inner rectangle here so basically it's going to start off on the uh, outer and then it's going to pan or basically move into the smallest part of the zoom all right and the thing is we can move the uh, the smallest part we can move it anywhere we can even resize this as well and you can see it says here like start and this little rectangle here says end. We can also change the start too. We can, you know, resize this or move this to a different area as well. I'll just go ahead and keep it at the original format for the start. And then for the zoom, you know, we can go ahead and we'll go in a little bit closer to my face here. And then let me go ahead and press on play just for the preview. And you can see how it goes in and then it's going to basically go back out. Okay. So let me start it back over here again, and then we'll start off on the regular frame. And you can see now it's going to start going in. And then that clip is done, and then it goes back out to the uh, original angle. Now, a lot of you probably want to do this too. Now, you know how when, when it went down to the smallest uh, zoom, like right here, you basically want it to like stay there for, you know, for a few seconds or however much longer. The only way to do that is you, you kind of have to play with it a little bit, okay? So for instance, let's go ahead and try to keep it like in this area right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this middle part where we did the original crop. I'm going to tap on the crop icon on here and I have to get those measurements, okay? So if I tap this, this uh, smaller one here, now we can see the ratio here. It's 738 by 415, so I have to remember that. Okay, so let's just say, you know, once it went down to the smallest zoom, I want to keep it there for like a few more seconds, okay? Like right about there, then I got to go ahead and split that again. So now what I have to do is I just have to do a regular crop for that area, but I have to make sure the size is the same in the same position. And like I said, you kind of have to like work around with it. So for example, let's go back to this again. And uh, let me just click on uh, this first crop clip here so I can remember that number again and click up here and it's uh, 738 415 738 415 
738 415. 415. And now you can see that it made the same size uh, rectangle. The thing is, I have to place it in the same exact spot now. Let me just go ahead and click on OK. And this is where you kind of have to play with it. You kind of have to see like where it exactly ended. All right, so let's see here. So I went right about here, and I'm on the very end of that first crop clip, and I can see like it's just touching the top of my beak here. So I know the top side. And the right side here basically goes right about down here. I'm not going to do it perfectly, but you guys should like pretty much like get the message, okay? So top beak right about here. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that second crop file right there, that little tiny one. And I'm going to click the cropping icon. And I still have that same as like measurement. So it was right above the tip of my beak of my hat. And I don't know. It, I don't know, it's somewhere around there, you guys got the message, but let me just go ahead and press on OK, and we'll go ahead and play this like right before that first crop, okay? So let's go ahead and press on play, and then it's going to go in, and then it's going to stop, okay? That was only for like two seconds. Anyways, I hope you guys got the message there. I'm also recording, I'm using the... Um, screen recording function with Filmora where you can record your screen to show tutorials and whatnot and I'm also using the webcam to show me as well and I'll probably do a how-to video on that like next anyways if you guys have any questions uh, even any questions in uh, Filmora 9 like let me know and that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one